somewhere. Everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? <clears throat> hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the S.H.I.E.L.D. system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. Do you understand now? I guess I can do that. It does we shut seem down like, the jamming he, station. yeah, shut up, I'm in guards. trouble right now. A patrol train uh, use radio. Who even needs it so, so left easy. joystick or right to find radio stations, okay. It's like right there. How do I like confirm it? I did almost get killed. What? I'm collateral damage. That hurts just a little bit. I am. I am looking for it. But I'm kind of interested in this conversation now. Finally. I just found it. Nice music coming from there. The Yamantal Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yes. Yes. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <laughs> Bring it out to me! Bring what out, Colonel? Sir! He's got some beer on him, maybe? For, uh, excuse me, vodka. I don't mean to disrespect the Russians here. <laughs> that, uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even the 
Sander. Oh, come How on. about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. It sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> I guess it but is. <laughs> That was not a good start to this <gasps> session. Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? I have a feeling that wherever we're going isn't as great as we've been led to believe. Or that it's just not even up and running anymore. And that radio signal is from somewhere else. I have a feeling it's not all sunshine and rainbows where if it's true, uh, the Russian government survived. I mean, you know, there could be some sketchy stuff going on there. Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Alrighty. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Whoa, alright. They're opening fire. Alright, they're running away. Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! Alright, they're missing every shot. I think we're fine. The train... Is probably not fine though. All right, let's get to the bridge. Are you all right, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder. How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck. Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts? Huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. And taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Alright. Uh, when can you get the Aurora? Guess I'm running? taking the map. Excuse me. I see. Get to it then. Alright, so let's go, Artyom. Let's go. Yeah, I guess yeah. We'll go out here. Check your map. Alright. 
Switch. Oh, sweet. Got my inventory and backpack now. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. The country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Got it. Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Yeah, maybe. Going down. All right, well, I would typically do more exploring, but we'll <laughs> stick with great. this uh, main mission right now, I think. We'll quick save. Hey, what was that? Probably nothing good if you heard something. You check it out? Uh, I guess she wants me to go in here, I'm assuming. So, yeah. Trains busted, trying to get some intel. We're not sure if these are occupation forces uh, from the war that got us into this mess, or other people. Hold left bumper to open equipment inventory, yep. So hold left bumper, then hit A. We pull out our backpack and we can uh, see what's in our inventory. So I got four throwing knives. Five cans, four med kits. Hey, Jim, what's taking you, so you can customize oh, your guy. weapons from here, which is kind of cool. You can do that on the fly. And so let me see, what do I have for the pistol? Suppressor, I think I want to keep that on for now. Yeah, so that's cool. You get different components up there in the top left. There's like mechanical components, and then I don't know what the other thing's supposed to be. Other components. <laughs> and you can uh, hopefully get more of those and craft the different things, make more throwing knives. And you can also dismantle things to try and recycle and redistribute your resources. So it's kind of cool. It's a pretty simple system. We're gonna go meet back up with Anna and uh, keep moving. Uh, shoot, where'd you go? All right, there she is. We're good. I didn't lose her yet, but I am gonna check these houses before we go over there. Is there nothing in here? At least on this level. Let me go up here. All right, yeah, there's probably something over here. And a ladder. Someone had a nice little spot up here. Of course, it didn't go too well for him, it looks like. There we go. Keep getting crafting materials. That's going to be helpful. See if I can hop down without killing myself. There we go. Someone had a book in here there. Oh, a few books. This guy might as well have a freaking library in the outhouse, which I guess, you know, gotta stay busy, I suppose, and educated. There we go. Oh, so we got another gun. It's not one I want to equip right now. But like I said in the previous video, I could just take all these attachments that it has on it and the ammo for hold B, and I collect those. So it didn't have any ammo, really, but it did have a sight. And so to demonstrate the crafting system, let me uh, get my backpack out. Let me go over to the guns, and I can go down and add this sight right to my AK, or I could add it to the pistol. But I'm going to add it to the AK, I think, for now. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. You can add your upgrades pretty much on the fly. Also, just in case it comes through a little bit in the video, I do have my retainer in right now. So if you hear a little bit of a lisp come through, or, you know, I kind of sound weird a little bit once in a while talking, that's probably because of that. <laughs> just throwing that out there.
Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Okay, so... Break a leg. Yeah, no thank you. Not out here. I don't want to know what medicine is like. You know, in the metro when we had a full-on doctor and medical supplies. I don't know what supplies we have out here right now. Not a lot. Yeah, so I had most of this section done before I decided to start making some videos on it. So... I think we will, for this part, stick with the main story here. I think it will open up and give me the opportunity to do some exploring. And we will do that as like a separate video where I'm not necessarily doing the main story. But for this one, I think we'll just go straight to the church. Uh, on my previous one, I kind of did some other exploring before doing this. And... It, pr it may make a difference on some things that happens there. I don't think it would. But, for now, we'll just, uh, we'll head over to the church. I don't want to jinx us, but we haven't had any issues with those crab things in the water yet. And that is awesome. I'll take it. And we can go all the way over there later. Uh, but not through this waterway here. Oh, I hear some chanting in there. Alright, well we've looted everything. So time to go actually move on to the objective here. Check out this church. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. Uh, okay. We are a peaceful lot, so please... Technology is a sin, according to them. That's interesting. I mean, not gonna lie. I mean, I know what this group's kind of about by now, but I mean, they seem friendly enough for the next little bit, anyways. That's a little awkward. My brother has read one of the Metro books. I don't know which one. But he actually mentioned the author is actually very anti-religion, like any religion. And so, I believe, you know, probably in the previous games there was something too. But this obviously is kind of a sketchy religion even right now. We'll find out more in a second, but... uh I think that kind of shows in his games for sure, and the books he wrote, uh, the more fanatical side of religion and some of the crazy stuff, things that could be done in the name of religion. Uh, yeah. That is going to be problems for us apparently. The, the kid who's freaking everyone out down there apparently wants me to come up here. I can't believe this. I had all but lost hope. We're not from here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this Our place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silentia has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here, and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our job should to get to the boat. 
Okay, uh, sure. Whoa, whoa. You guys pushed me. Any good loot up here, though, I can take before I leave? We've been thinking about escape for a long time. Even got a boat. But we didn't have anywhere to go until you showed up. Oh, and get Uncle Chris from the fort. He is so good. He can fix anything. Uh, okay, so they're gonna get themselves out, apparently. They want us to get Uncle Crest from somewhere else. Oh, there's a boat over there. That's for them, probably. Or maybe I can get into it. That's not the way I, I've gotten out previously. So, I'm gonna try to not engage or at least kill anyone I'll knock him out but I don't want to kill anyone because I think that may affect uh, the good fortune of one of our crew members later on so I'll give it a go see if I can get out of here without killing anyone. Hopefully it goes significantly better than the last time. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Uh, well, yeah, probably, maybe. The question is, could I handle this just fine without killing anyone? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be able to see me if I sneak out that way. I could try to throw a can across the room, but I don't know if that would really help me. I feel like every time I've actually tried to throw a can, it's gotten me into trouble and not fixed my problems. But we'll give it a go. Get me out here quickly. Alright, well, there's a ladder. Hopefully, there's no one waiting at the top. Have you seen the heretics going on over there, huh? Oh, that was close. <laughs> he was waiting there for me. Alright, so this is a guy I would would have passed here. Let's get the light off. <laughs> that guy's looking right at me. But I'm super stealthy, of course, so there's no problems. So, I'm taking some time to loot before I get out of here. That is a creepy, creepy doll. So how... Let me throw a can to that side. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that bounced off the rail. Go that way. Yeah, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. There's a lot of open ground. I could get to one of these doors. But then I feel like by the time I open the door, he's going to be all the way back over here. The heretic? Yes. <laughs> well, just, just shoot me. Come no, no, I won't do that. I wish you'd just shot me. No, nah, you can be quiet, though. Well, my daughter and my son are dead. Salantius wouldn't let us treat them. Okay. God dear, that ex-nurse. She said she could help them, but Salantius would rather let them die slowly. Vanya was smiling when he died. He said his sister was calling out to him. And she'd been dead for two days already. Yeah, fuck this life. Just shoot me already. Come on, shoot Listen, me, you fuck. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Look at his sadness in his eyes. Oh, let me just get the light back out. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but I'm not going to do that. 
Oh, you should get rid of the creepy doll, though. You should get rid of the doll. That's not a good look. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Hopefully the other guy doesn't notice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, we're good. I thought that was going to be a little bit more stressful. So yeah, we can get that shotgun. And to be honest now, yeah, I'm going to take... A shotgun's good to have, and I've gotten a few attachments for it now. I can mess around with that. Get something good going here. Again, let's get a stock on there. And I believe that's all I had. Yeah. I can't get the silencer on it, because that was for the pistol, but maybe I can... No, I can't get the silencer on the uh, AK either. Those are separate. So I don't have a silenced weapon at the moment, but hopefully I won't need to use either of these. So we'll check this room out. Oh, you heretic! Lord, save me! Did you come here to take a look at our life? It's not so great. Fish be my witness. We've but one protector, our Holy Father, Salantius, and it's by his prayers we're still alive. As if we didn't have enough mutants and electric demons, now the bandits are upon us. They don't let us live or die in peace. You've got to pass through the bandits to take a body into the house of the fish now. Two days ago, one of the elders died. We had to beg the Holy Father to let us perform the rite. Three of the strongest men took the body there, and they never came back. Even though the father said that the right is for the soul, not the other way around. And now he's blaming himself. Even though he tried to stop them, he still let them go in the end. That's why he called the paladins in. You better go. Don't tempt good people into the scene of rage. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I can't get in there. But I haven't heard that before. So again, me not killing anyone is providing a different story and more information. So that's that's cool. Um, yeah, apparently they wor worship some kind of fish thing. Hey, if they say you worship the devil, is that true? Will you teach me? Uh, yeah. I'd make a good apprentice. Hey, really, really I'm gonna sneak one. right by you there, bud. Come on, uh, teach me. give me a second. Yeah, hey, I'll teach you everything. All right. Well, I don't want to kill him. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna leave him. I tried to knock him out before, but I'm pretty sure because it doesn't give me an option to knock him out. I'm pretty sure I actually just punched him in the face and killed him. So we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave and hopefully he figures some things out. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh. Imagining things. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Question is, is there anyone behind him right now? I think we're good. Oh, roundhouse again. Oh, shoot. Pick that back up. Yeah, they got a weird religion. And hopefully he doesn't come outside. I can see his light on the wall here. What if I throw a can all the way over there? I think there's at least three. Just go for it. Just YOLO. Get over here. 
Oh, he's turned around. Oh, God. I think he's coming back this way. Oh, I think he's coming. This is going to be close. I'm going to have to knock him out right here. Oh, beautiful. I just saw his, the barrel of his gun. Oh, that was kind of scary. I'm doing some quick saving, I'm not going to lie. I, I really want to try and get this... Oh, there's someone right in here. I want to try and get this without uh, killing anyone. Hello? Oh, oh, he's right there. close here guys that was they got this place pretty locked down I know he was like right there oh there's two oh god I made a mistake I didn't realize there was two there. Get back down here. I guess I'll have to get this guy first, maybe. Though he's in a very open spot for the people above me. Shoot. How am I going to get these guys? Without killing them, I don't know. Can I go in this door? I like it here. Really, a nice place. Damn it! He shot me. I... Oh God! Let me move. Maybe he'll surrender because he realized. I'm better than him, but I did get whipped in the face pretty good with whatever he shot me with. Okay, he is surrendering. Call now. You see, I gave up. I, gave I up. do. See? You guys are very smart. I was hoping to get into that room, but you can't when these guys are scared. <sighs> I was so close to doing this without getting shot. And without killing anyone. And you shot me in the face. So I'm still going to knock you out. But you get to live. So remember my generosity. I know he's not feeling like I was very generous guys. But I definitely was. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. Give me back the shotgun. Thank you. I'm coming down there for you too sir. Disrespect me like that. Oh, that's the wrong way. Hold on. Be down there in a second. I mean, I think we'll still technically do it. Alright. I think we still technically didn't kill anyone. So I think we'll still be okay to, uh, not have any major consequences later yeah, and there's a good ending and a bad ending as far as I can understand for the game and you may actually lose crew members uh, throughout the game depending on how many people you kill what people you kill so it can affect the story and so I think this is one of them. If we had killed one person or everyone there, 
I think that could affect somebody surviving this big area before we move on to the next one. So we'll see. I mean, I didn't get past this place to begin with, so I don't know what happens and who was at risk for that. But uh, hopefully we won't have any any loss on our team for this area, but we'll see. We'll find out. We have a ways to go before that happens, but we are getting out of that church and going back to the train, and we are moving away from that guy. No, oh, come on. You don't want to jump on my boat. Stay over there. Okay, get away. Get away. Stay back. Thank you. Oh, God, I'm getting their attention, that's for sure. They haven't jumped on my boat yet. Oh, there we go. As soon as I say it. Uh, get out of here. Oh, I missed. What? I'm taking three shotgun. Three shotgun rounds. Shells. Alright, give me, get me moving again. Ah, oh, jeez. I know my friends over here. Artyom, over here. Don't worry, man. I'm coming. Ah. Uh, yep. This is the big fish. He's angry. Yes. Have the boat. I'm good without it. Just don't eat me. Come on. What the fuck was that? A whale? Uh, apparently, some kind of whale. It's fucking huge. So we'll go uh, make our way back to the train, but we'll hit this first. So yeah, I kind of did this the opposite way. I actually did most of the exploring over here on my last account. Uh, that's farther along. So it's kind of interesting doing this part in reverse and not kind of clearing all of this before I went and did the church mission. So this could be, I don't know, maybe there's different things here or... Uh, different enemies in certain areas maybe probably not I don't think it will go that crazy but I know there's some good stuff in here pretty sure there's an upgrade for one of my gear main gear components like a mask or something I just can't remember which one it is a light it is getting dark out, which means it's going to be more mutants, I'm pretty sure, at night. I feel so dumb. I should have landed on that field. We were still flying, and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then this damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? They hit a power line? You have to be flying pretty low to hit a power line, that's for sure. Okay, so yeah, we got upgrade for your gear, so it didn't say what it is. We have to find a workbench. Alright, so yeah, there's also, there's tapes you can find out here that gives you some backstory on some survivors and stuff. Pretty cool. That guy apparently crashed his plane. <coughs> oh, my apologies. Some allergies go on here. So let's head back up here and we'll see what's going on. But that'll probably, <laughs> as I get distracted, uh, we'll probably be ending this video shortly. And I'll get to... Uh, editing it and I'll get this one out and we'll have a third Metro video out pretty darn sh shortly after the first two I think we're I'm taking extra time 
and I'm just kind of relaxing. You're alone. I am. Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Yeah, yeah, nothing great Let's out there. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. All right, well, hold on. They are so nice. So both Katya and her daughter, and Katya's medical training will come in handy. I'm sure that will be helpful. But yeah, I hope you guys are liking the uh, longer format videos. I'm trying to not edit them as much. Obviously, if I die a lot or whatever, I'll edit out, you know, loading screens and stuff like that. But I'm trying to leave it a little bit more raw and, you know, have it be more of a playthrough kind of feel with less memes and stuff and just kind of me playing the game. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yaramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Okay. Uh, alright, well, if you're done, I, yeah, we can do that later. Not today. Don't have time for that today, I don't want to make you mad, but, uh, got some crafting to do and we'll call it good. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? Uh, for the most part, yeah, I think it works fine. I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail Just you. aim it right I at his face. Bullet. So, uh, that is with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Alright, well, much appreciated. Okay, then. Sweet. We got a new rifle. We made some progress uh, along the main story. And I believe we were able to resolve that, you know, peacefully relatively and hopefully that will bring us some good luck for the next few adventures but got a cool new gun got a decent amount of crafting materials made some progress campaign we're doing good so again I appreciate you guys watching uh, let me know what you think of the videos and if there's anything I can improve on them uh, maybe uh, you guys want me to do a little bit more cutting and try and make it a little bit shorter. Uh, we'll see. Just give me some feedback and uh, I'll see what I can do. So I hope you guys all have a good day. I'll catch you in the next video and have faith, take risks.